Welcome back to Score Maestro. This tutorial will show you how to create, save, and use your own annotations for each of your music scores. To start annotating a music score, tap it on your score selection screen. Next, press the note size icon to select either the medium or large note size. Score Maestro will dynamically repaginate the score according to the note size you pick. This is the large note size. This is the medium note size. Once you have selected your preferred note size, tap the markup pencil to create an annotation of that score that you can start marking up. A pop-up box will prompt you to enter a name for your annotation. You should also orient your tablet to select either a portrait or landscape display. After you tap OK on the annotation name pop-up box, Score Maestro will open the new annotation for you to start marking. The note size and orientation you chose will be locked in for this annotation, but you can always create a new annotation for the same music score using a different note size, orientation, and name. When you are done marking, you can save your annotated music score by pressing the Save icon. A pop-up box will prompt you to save the annotation. You can save it under its current name or enter a new name. To return to reading mode, tap the return arrow on the left of the action bar. To exit the annotation, tap the return arrow on the tablet's options bar. After you have exited your new score annotation, it will appear on the score selection screen. You can open it later either to add and change markings, or to use it in reading mode during a performance. When you tap an annotation on the score selection screen, it will open in reading mode, meaning that you cannot add markups to it. The markup pencil will also appear. If you want to add or change markings, tap on the markup pencil to switch to annotation mode. Score Maestro Tutorial 4 shows you how to use all the annotation icons in the action bar. If you want to use your score annotation in reading mode, you can navigate through it in several ways. You can page forwards and backwards by either swiping the screen or tapping the previous page and next page arrows. You can also jump to the next or the previous bookmark by tapping the previous bookmark and next bookmark icons. Score Maestro Tutorial 4 shows you how to set bookmarks. You can create as many annotations as you like for any of the music scores that you purchased. You can also use the unmarked music score without annotation. To open an unmarked music score, tap it on the score selection screen. Score Maestro will display the first page of the music score you selected. You can page forwards and backwards by either swiping the screen or tapping the previous page and next page arrows. You can also use the go to icon to jump to a selected page as described in tutorial 4. You can display your score in portrait or landscape mode by simply rotating your tablet. You can also select either the medium or large note size for the score display. To toggle between note sizes, tap on the note size icon. Remember, when you are using an unmarked music score, you can change its orientation and note size as often as you want. This concludes tutorial number three, creating and using annotations. In the next tutorial, you will learn how to mark up your annotations.